So guys, Robert Dillingham, Jerry McCain, they finally squared off in a star studded matchup. Guys, you guys already know I've been a I've been arguably the biggest advocate of Robert Dillingham being the number one player in the entire country, regardless of the class. I've been saying Robert Dillingham is better than any player in high school. Y'all y'all know I've been saying he's the number one player in the country. And on the flip side, I've been saying that this man, Jeremy Kane, is arguably the best shooting guard in the entire nation. Better than Mikey, better than this guy, that guy, this guy. This man, Jeremy Kane, can essentially do everything on the floor. And he's very, very underrated. And both of these players had the opportunity to play against each other in a crazy, crazy matchup. And one thing that I've actually been noticing over the past couple times that these two players have been playing is that Jeremy Kane usually always beats Robert Dillingham, especially in the EYBL circuit. But this time they had an opportunity to play against each other in their high school uniforms. Now, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to keep it a, all the way of being. I'm going to keep it a buck. Guys, this was arguably one of the worst games that I've seen from this man, Robert Dillingham, at least on the scoring side of things. This man shot two for 13 from the field and this man could not make a shot to save his life. And it's crazy because even before the game, start i was on the phone with his brother literally telling him that this man robert dillingham is about to go off he's one of the players that is used to these types of moments he's the player that always shows up i never see this man having bad games and then this happens this man robert dillingham was has one of the worst games that i've seen him play but i will admit he was doing some other good things i like the energy he was bringing on the defensive end he was finding his teammates and i also like the fact that he was still continuing to shoot even though he was missing trying to find his flow trying to find his groove back into the game unfortunately it just did not happen but guys you miss every shot that you don't take and i do have to applaud robert in that sense but nonetheless like i said we're not going to give him no pass we got to keep the same energy definitely one of the worst games that i've seen from robert dillingham jeremy kane is crazy this wasn't even one of his better games if we're gonna keep it a buck he finished with 23 and 13 but he made 10 free throws meaning he only made 13 shots that was actually field goal attempts but even then i still do feel like you could feel his impact on the game especially on the rebounding aspect i even said this on instagram guys people don't care about this side of the game people don't care about the the rebounding the screens the way he set the screens the way he can crave for his team. people don't care about that type of stuff they only look at the box score they don't look at the numbers but 12 rebounds for a shooting guard guys we got to clap it up for this man jeremy kane it's actually one of the main reasons why i still think that he's definitely the best shooting guard in the nation now, let's take a quick step back and kind of evaluate this entire situation now corona centennial had the opportunity to score off against donda academy and this was actually the first time that we've seen donda essentially this season as you guys know there's a new squad they have new players like aj johnson jacob barnaby jj taylor chuck taylor robert dillingham we know the squad and heading into this season i definitely felt like aj johnson and robert dillingham was going to be one of the more better duos that we've seen in the nation we know what robert dillingham can do aj johnson we know what he can do essentially but this was the first time i feel like we really got to see the real aj johnson i don't think he's ever played in a national televised game or anything like that he plays on the adidas circuit so i was really going into this weekend to really see what is the real aj johnson like in my personal opinion i generally feel like aj johnson really showcased a lot more than what people thought the type of player that he was the one thing that i was very very impressed with with this man was the way that he can actually be a point guard for a team guys this makes him a crazy crazy threat this makes his this makes all the colleges want this man i'm telling you the way that he can bring the ball up the floor so effortlessly and actually find teammates and facilitate the ball the way that he can aj johnson he's gonna be a threat once he builds that muscle once he figures out how to play in the system this kid aj johnson is gonna be tough he was actually the player of the game whenever they played against arenado i believe i believe he finished with 24 four points in that game and i was very very impressive with aj johnson over this weekend now donda versus centennial i kind of knew that donda was going to struggle just because i feel like they play way too much one-on-one -on -one basketball centennial they actually move the ball and they have a system they have a good coach they have players that buy in but i also do have to admit that these guys have been playing for the past few years and these these this team has pretty much been winning state for the past few years especially when you have a guy like jerry mccain who's more structured who can score multiple ways who's willing to buy in who's a willing passer who's a willing playmaker it just makes the game and your team a lot better 
Robert Dillingham, the way that he was trying to play one-on-one so much into this game and kind of dribbled through presses and whatnot, that was the main reason why I feel like Donda was struggling. And that's definitely an area of improvement that I definitely want to see from Robert Dillingham as the season goes along. He just has to figure out ways to score the ball versus dribbling the ball so much and being able to be a scorer that can score in like three dribbles or less. I definitely feel like Robert can be that guy. I definitely want to see how his game is going to transfer. I definitely feel like Jeremy Cain, he's going to transfer to college pretty smoothly. I really do want to see if he's going to be a one and done player. Same thing with Robert Dillingham. I actually may make a video about all that. But overall, this is nothing to overreact to for Robert Dillingham and whatnot. Same thing with Donda. I definitely feel like the team overall is going to bounce back. Like I said, I was very, very impressed with AJ Johnson, Jacob Barnaby, and the potential that both these teams have as a whole. I feel like Corona Centennial versus Camden will be a crazy crazy game who do you guys actually feel like would actually win that matchup if you haven't checked out this video of Bronny james going off scoring 31 points and looking like the number one player in the country make sure to click this video subscribe to the channel like the video do all that and i'll see you guys in the next one peace